Dajiahao. I'm Nathan Rich, aka Hu Gu Da Wang. Well, everyone, the time has come. The time has come to tell everyone out there one thing. All the haters and all the anti Huawei activists out there who tried so very hard to say again and again just how scary Huawei is. They tried to fight this idea that the US was persecuting Huawei for nothing more than financial gain. No, it's all about security, they said. Huawei bad. Well, the time has come to tell them all one thing. It turns out that the ban actually had nothing to do with security at all. I rarely say this, but told you so. Donald Trump's apparent U-turn on Huawei ban explained. And what happens now? Don't bother abc.net.au. By the way, is this the same ABC AU that I exposed encouraging violence recently? Anyway, forget about that for now. Don't bother explaining it, ABC, because I already explained it to you. There is no mystery here. Well, actually, this part is strange. Look at this sentence. U.S. President Donald Trump surprised many at the G20 summit in Osaka when he relaxed his ban on American companies doing business with Huawei, which has been at the center of his trade war with China. Huawei has been at the center of the trade war? Wait, since when? I thought the media was trying to say all this had nothing to do with the trade war. Remember, Huawei's a big, bad hacking company no matter how many countries clear their source code. Remember, Huawei's a super scary backdoor company, even though they don't seem to have any, while companies like Cisco keep getting exposed again and again and again for having backdoors. Now, suddenly, it's all about the trade war and nothing to do with security. Okay, well, I mean, it's all right with me if you want to suddenly start telling the truth and pretend like that's what you've been doing this whole time, I guess. The apparent backflip means that businesses like Google and Qualcomm can tentatively continue business as usual with Huawei without requiring special permission from the U.S. federal authorities. Oh, so the state-controlled capitalist market of America has decided to allow more business in a certain area. Cool. Wait, but... Down here, suddenly it's all about security concerns again. Do you even know what the hell's going on, ABC? Then, again, you show a quote that disproves the security claim right here. Trump's reversal on Huawei confirms that hypothesis and that it undermines the veracity of the initial security claim. So why do you keep pretending it has anything to do with security? It's like the last flip-flopping actions of a schizophrenic finally coming to terms with reality. And just look at literally the next quote. If President Trump backs off as it appears he's doing, it will dramatically undercut our ability to change China's unfair trades practices. ABC, can you please have one single person write this article because you keep going back and forth between the reality and fantasy. Unfair trade? Then don't trade. This is the stupidest claim ever. And again, if it's about trade, then why are you giving any credence to these conspiracy theorists who keep pretending it's all about security? The reality is that which I've been saying all along. In fact, it's not just me. My supporters have also been saying this. The reality I got attacked for and called a liar for turns out was completely true this entire time. Huawei Diayo, you go Huawei. Congratulations, truth and honesty is prevailing. And soon, there will be no way anyone can blame this international scandal on security issues with a straight face again. Thanks, everyone. Xie xie.